welcome back to Let's Play Day of the Tentacle. Uh, we just installed a diamond. And now... We must... determine a proper course of action. Can't get close to him. All right, so we are going to take from you the whiteout. And for you, we are going to use the whiteout on the fence. This ought to be good. Now we have made a full-fledged skunk. Okay. Now I need to figure out how to get that bed moved so that I can get that squeaky mouse so that I can get that cat inside so I could scare those people so that the game can continue. Where am I going to put it? 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 Very Spartan. Where am I going to put it? Where am I going to put it? Where am I going to put it? I don't want to. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do that. Where am I going to put it? Where am I going to put it? Very Spartan. Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. Another specimen. I'm sorry, but no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. This doesn't seem like the best place to start a panic. Hmm. This doesn't seem like the best place to start a panic. Huh. 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 
This doesn't seem like the best place to start a panic. Hmm, I think I remember how to do this. Alright. Gotta go in here. We gotta go in here. Say, cutie. What brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey. You came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your master. Right, so... <laughs> You losers can't even ride tricycles. You see why no one wants them as pets? I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. So, um... We need you... Actually, let's put you through the window because... How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. <laughs> You're right. I guess I'd have to start a fire to do that. He looks oddly familiar. Whoa, it's filling up fast. I don't know where those teeth went. I need them. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. Oh, I got an idea. I don't want to. Why not? I don't wanna. It's a great idea. Um, well, let's go defrost the roof. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh-oh. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves <laughs> back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. Alright, I think I know what I need to do. Hmm. 
1968, 1974, oh, 1977. <laughs> I knew I got a ton of money from somewhere. I just couldn't remember where. All right. Time to dry a sweater. All right. It's finally done. Ooh, cute. This ought to warm him up. Nah, that might be useful. Nah, that might be useful. Nah, that might be... Something's not useful. I need to get those teeth. I wonder, can you get a second pair of, second set of chompers? Looks like they all escaped. Yeah, you can. Um. It's bad enough to carry the weight of his death on my conscience. Yo. Hello. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Look, this is hard work. We can't just write this thing off the tops of our heads. We have to think about important <coughs> issues. Which important issue are you thinking about? Something of vital importance. Hey, Tom? Thomas. Can we put an amendment wh where the government provides everyone with wool sweaters? Oh, please. Can't you stop whining and think about something else? Why, if you'd been at Valley Forge with Washington, you'd... All right already. You see what I have to de deal with? Well, I gotta go, dude. Excuse me. Yes? Cold enough for you? Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. Cool. Extremely. Cool view of the outhouses.
The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, amendments to the Constitution. It's padlocked. I feel like these teeth are supposed to be somewhere around here. <laughs> Scratch one kumquat tree. What do we have? We have that. And what do you have that you're not using? I don't think I can put that in the Chronogon. Okay. I'm sorry. But no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. Wonderful. This doesn't seem like the best place to start a panic. I think not. I think not. Oh, right, 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 right. No, I know. I know what I'm doing. Um, but again, I need the teeth. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. Oh. Ah. I am completely forgetting how this game is supposed to be played. You're supposed to do the most outlandish thing to get the most outlandish thing. You need a can opener to open a time capsule. from him send her all the way back I wonder can you get another one? <coughs> Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. Nice? These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. Now nah, beat it, kid. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. I roll them myself. Now nah, beat it, kid. All right, so you can't can't do that as much as I would like to. Cool. The room clerk's a mummy. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work.
A miracle of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Hmm, so am I. Ready for another brush with destiny? Sure, why not? Splendid. All right. So. Oops. Look, it's very simple. Got it. Marvelous. And this time I won't mess up. I promise. You with pocket. No. She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life! Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. That won't fit in there. It's broken. Hey, it wasn't me. Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water supply. What manner of fool would do that in the first place? Uh, if you pay You're attention right. to all of these suggestions that are that go on, uh, they're all things that would stop what's going on right now. I need to find some teeth because he gets, he needs the best smile. Do you mind? You're disrupting my concentration. Here, I'll show you. He's gonna win, but he needs the best smile to win. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right.
Harold's got some amazing hair. The mummy's has improved. Yes, but it's dull, flat, stringy, lacks body and control, whereas Harold's flows and bounces with every subtle turn of his head. Yes, Harold wins. If only the mummy's was a little bit better. Agreed. And now for the cheapest part of this. Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? You oh, can have them right. judge the same thing over and over and over again until you win. Wow, for a mummy, that's some great looking hair. Yes, it has a certain meatiness. But does it have stars and lightning bolts? No, Harold is still the best. But if Harold were to say, drop dead, I'd give first place to the mummy. Agreed. Right. I can't reach it up there. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. I'd rather not. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. I'd rather not. I better not. My scoutmaster warned me to be careful. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I better not. My scoutmaster warned me to be careful. How do you get this fake bar off? <gasps> right. No, bad. Don't do that. Up here. You go into here. No, not there. Go into here. And you turn on this music. Wow! This is loud. It is loud. <laughs> I can't reach it up there. I'd rather not. Okay. Not what I wanted you to do. Again. All right, let's try dropping a bowling ball. I don't think I can do that.
I don't think I can do that. Oh wait, no, it's a uh, push speaker. So it's directly. Or yeah. Now we're talking. Now we gotta go get some fake barf. I'm gonna send fake barf to a burn, and we are going to uh, start the next move, uh, end this video here, and start the next one. We're at 31.